What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what to watch on Netflix. Let's get right into this. So the first show on my list is not only one of my favorites, but also Ashley's as well, and that is The Breaking Bad. This show did air for five seasons, and it was absolutely a lot of fun. Anybody that has watched the show and has been a fan of it hopefully feels the same way when I say this show should have definitely gone on a lot longer. But this show was amazing nonetheless. It follows Walter White and Jesse throughout all of the crazy stuff that they do. And this show is definitely going to hold your attention and be a lot of fun. It definitely is not kid friendly, but it definitely is a show worth checking out. Now they also did on Netflix make a Netflix original movie that is called El Camino that does follow the events of what happens to Jesse after the show ends, which is hilarious that they did this years later but it picks up right where the show ended. Now, there is another TV show that is worth checking out on Netflix, and that is called Better Call Saul. That follows the lawyer from the Breaking Bad show, Saul Goodman, and it starts off when he was trying to be a legitimate lawyer and everything that happens through those events, and then how he turned out to become Saul Goodman, which is just hilarious. He's one of the most favorable characters for the Breaking Bad, so the fact that he got his own TV show is amazing. This show did air for six seasons. I believe not all of them are on Netflix yet, but hopefully they will be very shortly. The next show is going to be Designated Survivor. This is one of my favorites from back in the day. I did watch this a long time ago, and it's still on Netflix. It has only three seasons, which I definitely feel was not long enough, but definitely is crazy all of the different events that happen and everything that happens. And for me, I'm not into politics. I'm not into all of that stuff, but to get this show, and not only do you get to see what happens and who gets selected as the Designated Survivor and what happens, happens if the tragic events that happened in the beginning of the show happens in real life what happens you also get a behind the scenes look at different aspects of politics along the way which again i'm not into politics but the show definitely breaks it down in a very entertaining way definitely worth checking out next up is going to be the walking dead this airs for 11 seasons not all of the seasons are on netflix yet and i definitely feel amc is going to be pulling that from netflix in the next few years especially whenever that is the only show that is on Netflix for The Walking Dead, and they also have Fear the Walking Dead, and they also have a whole bunch of other shows now that The Walking Dead main show did end. They have other shows coming out just on AMC, so I definitely feel this one's going to be pulled from Netflix, but it's definitely worth checking out and binging, but for 11 seasons, it might take you quite some time. Next is going to be Narcos. Again, this is only three seasons, but it really is amazing. You definitely see the drug wars in Colombia and you get to see everything that is crazy and just taking down the big kingpin was very intenseful, but I actually looked at some of the research behind some of it and they did it pretty accurately of some of the events that actually happened to take down this guy. They actually put in the show, so it was very, very close to the real thing, which made it really jaw-dropping whenever you've seen some of the stuff that happens on the show. Next is going to be Manifest, and this is definitely a thinking one. It definitely has a lot of back and forth, a lot of twists and turns, and is kind of... Not for everybody, it does go back and forth way too much than I personally like, but it does keep your attention. But some of the stuff are just so out there and so made up that it's like, really, that's the outcome of this situation. So definitely one to consider, but again, it's not for everybody. This show did also air for four seasons, which hopefully that will be ending very soon just because a lot of the stuff that happens it's just so out there that it also makes you want to be like that wouldn't really happen in real life would it the next show is going to be one that a lot of the u.s uh, people watching this, the US viewers are going to be like, that's not on Netflix anymore, but it is here in Canada and that is The Office. A total of nine seasons, all of them are on Netflix Canada. And again, that might change in the future, but right now we do not have Peacock over here, so it still is on Netflix for the foreseeable future. Now recently in Australia, it did get pulled from Netflix over there because it went on a different platform over there. So I definitely see that likely happening in the future, but while I can, 
Batman. I'm definitely going to be checking out The Office because I've watched it probably three or four times and it definitely is worth repeating because it is hilarious and it is the perfect binging show because the episodes are only half an hour. I guess 20 minutes because there is no commercials, but it definitely is worth checking out and watching The Office in here, Canada, while you can. Next is going to be The Witcher. This is a show that only appeared for two seasons, but hopefully they make a few more. And it just is crazy. It definitely goes off of the books and the video games, but it definitely is a really very interesting show that definitely can hold your attention as well. And the last show that I want to mention is going to be Swant. This one does air on Netflix for six seasons. Hopefully there will be another one, but it basically shows the LAPD Swant team in everything that they do. And it is crazy some of the stuff and how spot on it is watching uh, different videos on how the SWAT trains versus how the show is constructed. They definitely did a lot of research prior to even starting the show with how they have to treat, how they have to behave, and all the actors did an amazing job in my opinion. This show is definitely intense, but it definitely is worth checking out if you do like police shows, crime shows, or other shows like that, or just action-packed shows in general. This is definitely a show for you. Now again, I probably did miss some shows uh, that other people are probably huge fan of, and some people probably are going to be disappointed that I didn't mention them, but this is going to be what I absolutely Absolutely love that is on Netflix and what I would recommend to watch of course there's other shows out there but I definitely could have made a way longer video but I wanted to just keep something really short and put the absolute favorites on this list so hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next one please take care and comment down below what is your favorite Netflix show I'll see you guys in the next one peace